Hi, Colgrath here, and this is another Towncraft video. Today we're going to talk about how you can join the player shop. Uh, you can set up a player shop anywhere and sell uh, anything in your inventory. Uh, it's really easy to do. Uh, in this case here, we are going to sell signs because I have so many of them. Uh, and the way we're going to do this is, is this. Uh, you just put your sign down with the right click, and you start off by saying trade. Then you need to decide how much you're going to sell or how much you're going to charge. In this case here, let's sell signs for $100 each. Uh, make sure you put the dollar sign in front, uh, and then you're going to go ahead and tell what you're going to do. Now you have to say how many you're selling at a time, and then say how many you're selling total. So in this case here, I'm going to sell one sign at a time, colon, and then you say, oops, and then you say how many you have to sell. In this case, I have 63 available. So I'm selling one sign at a time, 63. Uh, that's it. So you, just to recap, you got trade with the brackets, how much you're selling for each, uh, and then you got how many you're selling at a time, and the total you're willing to sell. And when I click done, you'll see that it took it out of my inventory, and now it says trade in blue. Blue means it works. If it's if it's in red, it didn't work. Um, but then it shows that I'm selling for $100 each. Now, right now it says colon zero. That means that there are no sales pending. If someone buys some, some of them, like in this case here earlier, I was selling sugar cane, I actually have $390 waiting to collect. So I'll talk about that in just one second. But anyway, so now if someone wanted to buy a sign, uh, they could right click on it and it would put money into the, into the sign. Like in this case here, Lion Boy 14 has $20 of, uh, waiting for him for the coal he sold. So now to collect, you're going to right click on your sign and you see it says $390 has been added to your account. So you've emptied it. Now in this case here, uh, there's nothing left. It says three sugar cane zero. It means there's no inventory left to sell. Now you can destroy your sign if you want or if you have more sugar cane, uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is give myself some sugar cane. Okay, if you right click the sign, See how it put 63 back on the sign? Because I'm selling it in groups of three. So it didn't take all 64 of it. It just took 63 because I'm selling three at a time. But that sign is ready to sell sugar cane again. So same kind of deal here. If someone came and bought a sign, I can go back and put more signs back on the stock one at a time. And I'll try it right now. Item sign. And if we right click it, actually, that's a bad example because it's trying to put a sign on top of the sign. But... <clears throat> nope, actually I did it as well. Uh, even though it popped up with the edit sign deal, uh, I hit escape, and now you look and see there's 127 uh, available. But you can do that with diamonds. Uh, someone here is selling, you know, Fushijuka is selling slime balls, uh, bones. Uh, you can even sell experience. Look at uh, Fushijuka has been selling experience points. So get involved in the player shop. It's easy to do. Uh, that's all there is to it. Remember, it's trade, how much you're selling it for, and then how many you're selling at a time of what, colon, and how many you're putting up for sale. That's it, and it automatically puts your name at the bottom. Uh, this is Colgrath. This has been a quick demonstration how to participate in the player shops on Towncraft.